I made a video a while back on how to find duplicate clips in Adobe Premiere, and it seems to be really popular. I have over 2,000 views on that video, and I thought it would be good to do an updated one just because there seems to be, there's a lot of demand out there on how to find this feature. And it's a great feature, it's just kind of hidden. So I thought I'd do an updated version of this, mainly focusing on the project panel. There's a few different ways to find out if you've used the clip more than once. So what I'll do is I'll quickly recap how to find them in the timeline first, and then we'll discuss the project panel. So to activate this feature in Adobe Premiere to find your duplicate clips, it's located here down by the wrench icon and basically you can just toggle on or off show duplicate frame markers. So we'll turn that on and then every time you bring in a clip you'll see right away it's duplicated because of this blue line here and you can actually see also in the audio as well it's showing that it's duplicated. So it works for video and audio and if I went back to the wrench here and I was to toggle that off you would see that duplicate indicator would disappear. And I'll just turn that back on again. So you can see this one's blue. And if I add another clip as well, it'll also give it another marker. And you can see this one is red here. And the nice thing about this as well is it also will show you what portions of the clip has been used. So for example, in this case, uh, the sailboat here, we can see, or this boat, I should say, uh, that this portion of the clip for this clip has been used and this is indicating that this has been used as well as you can see the rest of the clip isn't marked so we know we haven't used that portion yet so once again it's very simple you know it will show you the blue line for this clip being duplicated it will show you a red line for example this clip being duplicated and if you were to go to a third clip same thing it would add another line and you can see in this case, this one's orange. So it's a really quick way to see if you've used the same clip over and over again. Now, the thing I want to focus on more in this video is the project panel. You can see right here, there's a tab I have for video usage and audio usage. And that can be activated when you right click and you open up your metadata display and you go into your Premier Project metadata. And you have all these options that you can turn on and off. And this is basically just a bunch of clip, clip info. So you can see video usage, audio usage is on, and we can toggle those on and off. So to see duplicate clips in the project panel, you want to leave these on. So video usage and audio usage tabs are now activated. And we can see there's a bunch of numbers here. Number one, for example, for all these three clips. Uh, here and they indicate how many times the clips have been used not just in one sequence But all your sequences in a project Unfortunately, there's no way of kind of telling at least I know of how or where each clip has been used in each sequence So it's kind of a general term So it's kind of a general indication how many times you've used those clips in a project not just per sequence so even if you had two or three sequences and use these clips a bunch of time they would only show up uh, per the project and not per sequence. Hopefully that makes sense. So for example, if I drag this clip in, you'll see that number will change to a two. If we do it again, it'll change to a three, and that goes for the audio as well. And same thing here. As you'll see, that number will start to change, and it indicates how many times you have used those clips in your project. Also, you can see you're getting your different color bars back here indicate that that's a duplicate, this is a duplicate, this is a duplicate, and these are the duplicates over here as well. Uh, yet again, this will only show you how many times those clips have been used in a project and not which sequence they are in or how many times they've used per sequence. I don't know if that's an update that's coming in uh, future versions of Premiere, but that would be a great thing to have to indicate what sequences have what clips. Uh, but for now, it's just going to give you a general term about how many times those clips have been used per project. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thank you.